Welcome to Throwing Fits, the afters. Uncut bonus content for our best friends behind the paywall this week. We're fucking around and getting silly with founder of Awake, Angelo Bacche. Angelo, what would you like to say to the homies on patreon.com slash throwing fits? Do I get kicked back off of this? Yeah, we'll give you the sponsorship. Well, this, is in, this is like a, in front of the paywall right now, so there's nothing to get kicked back on yeah. right now. Well, depends how good, depends how good it is. Depends, <laughs> yeah, yeah. depends how many, we many get people the number, subscribe. We run the numbers up. Yeah, yeah run them up. You put asses yeah. in seats, right? Like yeah, We yeah, are yeah. absolutely monetizing a POC right now. For <laughs> sure, man. You could, first of all, there's tons of clickbait in that fucking interview. Ooh, so I, already baby. Know, I already know the little yeah. blurbs you guys are going to cut out. Oh, the clips are going to go crazy, bro. Y'all better learn how to read between the lines. Yeah, 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 yeah. One guy guy that we haven't talked about because you talked a lot about like your entire career is uh, your boy Brendan um, yeah. and I want to know Angelo is would you rather team up with Brendan again and work as the brand director at J Crew or launch the Awake podcast co-hosted by you and Hugo what sounds more appealing oh the Awake podcast oh yeah Hugo. why don't you guys more... have one bro that would be crazy thank no time. you I'll, I'll take that and run with it I feel like I gave you enough free tips in the last part you know yeah. He's one of the most popular guests we've ever had. And honestly, I think Hugo gives us the proper amount of respect and flowers for like, you know, well, Hugo, really advancing Hugo's, his career. <laughs> Hugo's the one that got you guys up here. Hugo's That's true. Like, Hugo co-signed you guys. It's true. It's true. Yeah. You can't get up here without a cosign, I imagine. This is like, you know, this is No, nah, I, I thought you guys were fucking weirdos. Right? <laughs> nah, I'm not no, it's true. I'm we are correct. Think, yeah. Okay. We are good in Hugo's hood. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. No, the Awake podcast needs to happen. Like, you're, talking about, you're talking about being at the intersection of like art, music, fashion, like, and come New on, York. just media. You want all things in New York. You yeah. get me and Hugo together for an hour talking. You might shit. get yourself in trouble, though, because eventually Probably. you're going to let something Probably. slip. There's definitely yeah. going to be a lot of B's and N's being dropped. <laughs> <laughs> not for me. Right, right, right. To be clear. Yeah, yeah, not for me. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of bleeping. <laughs> get the bleep button ready. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do it on a delay. Angela, would you rather only get your hair cut by white people or only eat food that's been cooked by white people? Eat food cooked by white people. Really? Yeah, yeah shout out to Copenhagen. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. They're, They're taking no- it to Noma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no more lemon pepper, though. Yeah, no more yeah, paprika. Yeah. I can't even tell you the last time a white person cut my hair. That shit is wild. How can you get your hair cut? <laughs> Uh, if I'm on, if if I'm on point once a week, okay. if I'm if I'm lacking every two weeks, and you have your your place in Queens, uh, no, damn, you know I just transitioned right now. Ooh, uh, is that hard? Yo, congrats! Yeah. Thank That's you. Thank you. That's a big of you. That was big of you, right? Um, <laughs> now, uh, my barber was on 107 in Amsterdam, and now I just started going to Moj over here. Was that hard to like break up with yeah. one? And so you said it's like the hardest it, thing for a man to do is break up with his is. barber. I, I was with my barber for like nine years. How'd that go? That conversation. Well, I haven't broken up with him. No. Oh, he just moved spots. You go. No. So he's still there. He's still there. But I'm down here, and MoJ oh. is like literally around the corner. Wait, so you ghost his ass, bro? You see, this, this, this is the Latino toxicity we're talking yeah, about. Wow, I didn't even yeah, know. Was, ghost, you're, you're a him. real piece of I, shit, I, dude. I know. Yeah. I know. But I, the worst <laughs> is going back to him, and he's like. Somebody cut your hair. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That fade looks a little bit. Yeah, I know. He's like, <laughs> I, do oh, that fade. I, I see that he'll he'll drop a little like, you know, sub. Like, I see your fade's a little high right now. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Uh, they don't they don't know that hairline yeah, like I know miss, that hairline. He's Dominican. He, yeah, you know. Mm. He's never missed a hairline you know in his what? life, dude. If Complex ever does the best <laughs> hair in streetwear, you get number one. Yeah, dude. You got good flow, As bro. I should. Thank you. <laughs> What's the product? <laughs> just real quick. What's like, what are we putting in that bitch? Just gel. Gel. Yeah, just gel. Gel's back, dude. That's what yeah, I'm here. Gel. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> gel's back. Gel. 